War. Concerns over toxic chemicals have halted plans for a turf field at Boroughville High School. The 19th's Leanna Falk is in Boroughville with what people had to say tonight. Tonight, concerned residents came out in full force at Boroughville High School over the plans to install a new turf field. The issue, possible contamination of the town's drinking water. Rising tensions over turf in the town of Burraville. So we're basically putting a 60,000 square foot plastic bag over our field. At the center of the debate, worries the turf could pollute the town's water wells with PFAS, also known as forever chemicals. Some residents pushing back tonight, saying a new field isn't worth the community's health. I do have well water and I can't change it. So I'm a little concerned about that. Town and officials confirmed there are trace amounts of PFAS in the local water system, but say most levels fall below the Rhode Island Department of Health safety threshold. So the amount of PFAS in the entire field is the equivalent weight of one drop of water. An independent chemist from TRC found no risk from skin contact with the turf and no threat to the town's ground or surface water. Town Councilor Dennis Anderson presenting similar findings, comparing the PFAS detected to a drop of water across the entire field. You can decide if you think that's a big amount or a small amount. But that's what it is. But that hasn't settled the debate. Some residents remain skeptical, worried about long-term exposure. There's the PFAS, there's the, the tire contamination. There's so many aspects of it. To say it's safe, um, I think it's a misrepresentation of the facts. Others ready to move forward, saying it's no big deal. It's easy to sort of get up in arms because we hear, you know, we're going to die because of this pinprick of a field. The project was temporarily placed on hold pending a restraining order filed to stop construction over contamination concerns. Council President Donald Fox says the lawsuit filed against the town was dismissed Thursday morning. And despite overwhelming opposition, Fox says construction will continue as scheduled. With so many people against it, how do you move forward with confidence? Well, we move forward with confidence because there are many people in this community that are for it. We've done a lot of testing and spent a lot of money to prove that there's no danger to the aquifer, to the environment, or to our athletes. Town officials are set to present new evidence at a September 13th status hearing addressing some of those contamination concerns. In Burraville, Leanna Falk, NBC 10 News, 19.